Hey guys, how you doing today? So today I'm coming at you with a video from Zexer RSBS, which is my RSBS that I'm currently coding. Um, if you guys have seen some previous videos, basically just showing, you know, kind of a little bit of what the server is. And I haven't really done an intro, so this is what this video is going to kind of do. So um, basically, if you've watched previous videos, you could probably see the video from not having a lot of stuff on it. Um, so since then, I've made some massive updates and changes to the game. So we'll go ahead and I'll show you guys a few of the changes I've made. So first things first, we're at home right now and we're in the shop area that is at home, the general store. So just to kind of show off a few shops we have here. Here's the donator shop. I updated some of the items in there to make them actually more useful in game. Uh, they're all reasonably priced, definitely would help a starter out. Um, and then we have the PK supplies. Basically, if you want to just get on the server and start, you know, PKing quick, just get your stats up and start PKing with, you know, some decent gear to get some PK points. Uh, and then we have our PK shop itself. You see a lot of good loot in here. Decently priced stuff. Um, you know, AGS, uh, alleys, divines, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, and then we have the hunting expert. If you guys want to do hunter, you can get your supplies there. And then we have our boat point shop, which isn't up yet, but will be soon. So, if you guys, you know, when I get voting up, that'll be, you know, pretty great. That's just some of the, that's like where you can spend your vote points on. You can also buy items with your vote points. So, come over here, there's the voting store. You can get a uh, Cape of Legends Fancy Boots, the ring that turns you into a uh, actual Easter egg. You have bunny ears, boxing gloves, top hat with monocle, and like, uh, it's like a grain sack or something like that. There's the Easter ring. So, it looks pretty cool. I'm going to work on changing all the colors up on it. And then right here you have our Herblor shop. If you guys want to come in here and get your uh, Herbal level up quick, you know, start making the combat potions, you can do that there. And then the shopkeeper, he sells like tickets. Um, and he's also a general store. So he does sell tickets for, um, you know, you can get tickets from Glod and exchange them for, to him for 100 mil, which it's a rare drop from Glod. He's like a, he's a custom monster on my server. So basically he's got a ton of HP and he drops 100 mil tickets and bludgeons and stuff like that so right outside the general store we do have the Slayer Master um, and then we also have the Slayer shop here where you can buy your pegs, prims, eternals debating on taking those out and putting those you know making those harder to get somehow uh, y'all can also get your dragon defenders here your obby necklaces um, you can get Togar Cal, Ring of Charos all that cool stuff so let's go ahead and jump into some other pretty cool things about the server all right guys so here we have the crystal key chest so if you have a crystal key you'll simply use it on that chest and it will give you rewards you can see some of the reward from you know a couple crystal keys that i did open in the previous video this is where you change your appearance at right here um can't do it because i'm in egg mode but anyway right over here is the fairy and then the fairy sells our graceful items so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I do have that. And then up here we have the Major Zamrock, which will teleport you straight to the Abyss, which is pretty decent. Um, so let's go ahead and head back to home really quick. So also located at home is our altar here. Um, generally speaks for itself. It restores your prayer points, as you can see. Um, and then we have Father Yerny here. He'll sell you your max cape once you max. This guy, Brother Jared, will reset your skills for you. This is our pet store, which has all the bossing pets, you, you and you can't buy them unless you've obtained them by getting a drop from the boss itself. Um, then you have our Iron Man store, I would show you that, but I'm not on an Iron Man right now. I am going to do some editing to the shop to compensate for not having Iron Man armor in the game yet. I'm going to put like uh, put like Iron Through Adamant armor in the Iron Man shop just to compensate for that, but everything you know, after that is on your own. So then to the right of that, we do have our altar, which changes all your spell books here. Instead of having to go to different altars, this one changes everything. And then we have our extra security here. Um, also right behind that, we have our thieving area. So this one, I kind of like the way I set this up. So basically you have your like your basic leveling up stalls here. And then you have your your upper like 90, 96 plus thieving star right here which will give you, you know, as you can see, pretty decent XP. It's about 700k in inventory. If you sell all the necklaces, you know, you get from one inventory. So not bad, decent way to make money. And then you have also the bank booth here. And then you do have your fire here. You do you sell your items to Sigma the Merchant. And then you have this guy right here. He'll give you some more information about it. 
So anyway, let's jump into some more stuff. Alright guys, also located at home, I do have a lot of custom teleport commands that get you around Zexer pretty efficiently. But this one is definitely one of the, uh, like, to get to some major cities really quick. I do have a teleport for most of them. But this guy will take you, the sailor, will take you to Falador, Virak, Lumbridge, and Camelot. So that's pretty cool there. And then if you walk in the bank here, we have our banker here. He's not really a banker. He is the bank pen uh, manager. And then over yonder, we have the Lumbridge guide. And he will lock your uh, XP etc etc so if you're trying to make it pure talk to him and there you go that's all locked so that basically explains home so let's go ahead and jump into some other cool things so here we are guys at the PKing teleports here so you have Virac PVP Mage Bank Chaos Temple Graveyard and Castle Drags so that's you know pretty easy pretty quick to get to I'm gonna add some more to that list um, just gotta get around to it and then also we have our monster teleport which is basically a displays all the slayer monsters or a good bit of them i do have to add a few to this list and then you have your regular monsters over here like you have you know you have skeletal wyverns jungle demons back yaks etc etc if you do you know call and call and yaks you can go to yaks obviously call and call and train takes you to rock crabs all that kind of cool stuff so you know you, you will find some of these during slayer task the easier ones and then you obviously are going to have these in there too so Let's go ahead and jump into our minigame teleports. So our minigames, we have Barrows, Dual Arena, Pest Control, Barbarian Assault, and Fight Cave. So obviously, pretty self-explanatory there if you've played RuneScape before. Easy to access, easy to do. I made you add one wave, so you don't have to kill all the waves to get to him. Then we have our skilling teleports, which will take you to, you know, different skilling areas there. Obviously, I do have a couple of custom skilling areas in the game as well. Um, and then we have our bossing teleports here, which takes you to Barrel Chest Crack and God of War's Dungeon, Bedion, Calfi Queen, Scorpia, King Black Dragon, ben Benatis, Chaos Ellie, Galad, Dagonoth Kings, Callisto, uh, Giant Mole, Ice Queen, and Zora. So, definitely some cool options there. This option, I messed up on something. I'm going to remove that. It doesn't really take you anywhere. It just tells you to talk to the sailor at home. But that kind of describes the actual spellbook tab so let's go ahead and in that and we'll go ahead and show you some custom areas that i have added all right guys so the first location we're going to go over is colon colon barrows so if you type that in it's going to bring you two barrows obviously and then i took the time to because i kind of like new reality I used to play back in the day so it kind of gave me this idea to put this here definitely will help the, the newcomer guys get some decent gear so you have a barrows brother on every hill you know, there's not one without them. Plenty of different, you know, Barrows Brothers to kill, to get your set set up. And, you know, if you want to use Dirac P. Kang, easy to farm. So you can get that stuff relatively quickly. Let's go ahead and jump into some other teleports we have. So as you can see in the chat right now, I have Colin Colin Woodcut in the chat. Type that in. It brings you right here to the custom woodcutting area. Um... I'm going to add more to this. I'm probably going to add an NPC that sells axes and other kind of stuff like that. Or that buys logs. You know, so you can sell them back to him. If you don't feel like selling them or burning them, you can just trade them right for profit right there. Um, so that's basically the woodcutting area. <laughs> Here you can basically level your woodcutting up from 1 to 99 easily. The only thing I did not have, and I'm going to add, is maple trees here. Everything else is located here. Yew trees up to magic and all the way down to regular trees so let's go hop into another skilling teleport we have all right guys so here we are at my mining area simple just type in colon colon mine it brings you right here as you can see we have an anvil a bank booth and a furnace and all the rocks you could ever want to mine so basically this is an easy way to get from 1 to 99 um you know we have the copper and tin there gold iron coal myth adamant rune all that good stuff so definitely a quick way to get you the 1 to 99 mining and we also have the pickaxe store here so definitely you know if you want to upgrade your pickaxe you can do that there even get the dragon pickaxe so so here we are at one of our donator zones this is the standard donator zone this will be the only one I show off in the video so here we have you can go here and you can go to challenges kill certain bosses without stepping into the wilderness and risk getting PK'd so if you want to kill Kraken, Vedion, Scorpia Kraken's not in the wilderness, but Scorpion and Betion are. Don't have to go in the wilderness. You can kill them right there. 
Then you have Aubrey here, which you do your runecrafting at. Simply talk to him. He'll ask you where you want to go. You click whichever one, and it'll take you right there. You have your bank booths here. You have your altar. You have another donator shop. Uh, then you have the Barrows Brothers here. All I need to do to finish this up is add Derok on this side. So you have a private area to kill um, you know, the Barrows Brothers. Then down here we have some Abyssal Demons and stuff like that. All the dragons. Um, so definitely is it kind of expedites your process. Um, this dungeon is pretty big. So there's stuff everywhere. I would go and run and show it off. But it would take forever. I know there's a Chaos Lemon on here. There's some Abbey Demons. Um, every dragon. All the way up to black. Um, so yeah, that's definitely some cool stuff you should, you know, if you feel like donating, you do have access to this and other areas in the game. So without that, we're going to go ahead and jump to something else. All right, guys, here we are at the skill teleport. So here you can talk to the gnome trainer. He'll take you to the gnome agility course. We have more than just that, but he just conveniently takes you there. Then we have the woodsman tutor. He just wants, uh, he, you get woodcutting points on the server, right? So basically... You give him some a certain type of logs, like 10 of each, and he'll give you woodcutting points. And you can open a shop, you can buy lumberjack, all that cool stuff. And then I'm going to jump to the farming area. All right, guys, so here we are at the farming patches. And at the farming patches, you know, we have uh, Martin the Master Gardener there. He'll teleport you around to different ones. And you have this very shop assistant. She sells all the seeds you need to get your farming level up and all the required items to do that. Alright guys, well that concludes the server tour for now. The, I mean, I'm constantly updating, so this will definitely not be the last video I do that pertains to updates on the server. So, basically if you guys need any help and I'm not on, you can contact the server support or you can contact Texan Game. He's the moderator, or one of the only moderators. So if you guys think you're, you know, staff material, we are looking for some pretty, you know, helpful server support, possibly mod, you know, kind of guys. So if you feel like you're doing that, if you've been playing for a minute, you can go on our forums, which I'll also link in the description along with the Discord um, to apply. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you on the server. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.